Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Ram. This is the Stubbs 102 fighter. I've just got through designing this, well not just got through designing this, but I designed this earlier today. It is a fighter, obviously, as by the fact that I said fighter, but uh, yeah, it's designed to be uh, super maneuverable, super fast, and uh, I, I wanted to do something where it looks kind of aerodynamic, kind of, you know, like th this. When I was doing the last episode of the plane reviews, there was this thing with the cockpit where it had the uh, NCS adapter thing going back down the back, and, and it was the with the intakes underneath, you know. Well, they were more to the side than underneath because it was an F-14, but it made me want to create something that looked a bit like this. Although originally I was actually thinking of creating something m much longer and bigger and maybe not quite as dramatic vertically, like, you know, with this upper section basically being on top of the lower section like this one. I was thinking of something a little bit more streamlined, but then when I actually went to start designing, uh, this just sort of happened. And I was, I just, I started with the cockpit, put this piece on, put this on, uh, this back piece on so that I could have a mount point to put more fuselage parts on the bottom, and the rest of it just sort of fell together, and I really like it just came together on its own, really, and I liked how it ended up, and this is the result. I called it stubs, because it's a stubby little thing, and... Yes, it, it looks a bit strange, but I like the way it performs. Uh, let's go ahead and show you real fast. The uh, center of lift is a bit farther back. There's an in the engines, of course, back there. I'm actually going to launch this from the carrier. I'm going to hope it works properly because um, I had to update it just now because the way I had it before wasn't looking quite right, and I'm hoping it looks right now. But yes, that is the curb inside mod, by the way, because I keep forgetting to mention these things and people ask. So yes, the curb inside mod adds that carrier, among other things. Oh yes, we do have a drogue chute as well here. That drogue chute actually isn't necessary to land on the carrier, as I will hopefully prove in a minute. Of course, this craft was created in 1.0.0, and we are now in unused liquid fuel resource. Oh, wh where? Can you show me where? Oh, right here. So that actually isn't a Wait, what? That is it, unless they've changed the rules for how fuel flows in 1.0.3 from 1.0.0. That is wrong, because the fuel was only flowing from the NCS adapter when I was flying this earlier. Interesting little issue there. Anyhow, this was designed in 1.0.0 and has been tested in that, but has not been tested in 1.0.3, and I know they've made some, I don't know how many, aerodynamics adjustments, so let's, uh, let's go try it out. Holy shit. That is pretty. Okay, so there's this mod called Scatterer. I don't know if you've heard of it. Well, if you haven't, then I'm introducing you to it. If you have heard of it, yeah, there's this mod called Scatterer. It adds, well, look at look at the world as it is right now. It adds uh, atmospheric effects that are very, very pretty, as you can see right now. Obviously, we don't have clouds. That would require another mod, which I honestly, honestly, I've, I've been looking for it, and I just don't know how to find it and get it working, and that's just my own incompetence, really. Let's get going. We have, let's turn off the brakes. We're at full throttle. Oh, yes, you might have noticed uh, we actually have those as air brakes, uh, the... Uh, vertical stabilizers double as air brakes. They turn in like that, and there you go. We're in the air. This thing takes off very easily. It is very maneuverable, as I said. See how quickly we turned around? Um, the only the only downside, really... See, there's this kind of problem with it. There's one little problem with it. It rolls far too easily. Like, okay, look, look, look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll, and then let go of the key, and let go. See how many extra rolls it does after you let go? So you in turn, you basically, the, the, the only problem this really is, is that, like, okay, it pulls up really fast, it pulls down really fast, it turns to the side not as much, but, you know, you shouldn't be yawing too much anyhow. Really, you shouldn't be pulling down too much anyhow either. And it pulls up better than it pulls down, or at least I'm pretty sure it pulls up better than it pulls down. But roll, roll is a slight issue with this craft. It, it rolls really too far unless you tap it. So basically... The suggestion I have for flying this thing is you got to be very careful with your roll and only tap it. Anyhow, I'm turning the throttle down to the third tick mark because I'm actually going to go in for a landing with this craft. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the brakes so that we have a bit of brakes. Oh yes, the yaw! This is the cool thing about the air brakes with the yaw. You can actually still use your yaw controls while the air brakes are on. Um, it's less effective, but it's still functional. So anyhow, we're t using the air brakes to uh, slow us down, of course, and the reason I'm keeping the throttle at the third tick mark is because I'm actually going to do something else to slow us down even more. 
and that's uh, extending flaps basically and this craft yeah I designed it so that you could actually extend crafts and you can actually land it from first person I actually did this earlier but right now I'm gonna do it from third person so I can show you we're actually getting in way too close too quickly and so I'm extending the flaps now and you can see basically the uh, front canards are pushing down and the rear ones are pulling up and the landing gear needs to go out and we need to deploy the brakes in a moment oops I'm doing this wrong okay Oh, I clipped the edge. That's unfortunate. Yeah, if I didn't clip the edge, this thing would have landed perfectly fine. But I did clip the edge, unfortunately. We do have a drogue shoot. <laughs> that barely helped a little there with the landing. That was that was not a good landing. Let's let's do that again. Since the only other time I've actually landed this thing was in first person. I'm actually going to go ahead and fly it and land it in first person this time because I'm going to assume that that is, well, I was I was good at landing it in first person, so I shall try that. Let's go ahead and put our throttle at the third tick mark. Okay, landing gear in. Going to go ahead and go back into first person now, and we're going to, oh, it's amazing how quickly that thing can get away from you if you're not paying attention. All right, so we're going to head back this way, and Landing gear are in, brakes are off. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and let ourselves pick up a little bit of speed going this way. I really love how this cockpit is angled down, like for better visibility. It is very nice for this kind of thing because I've I've used this I've pretty much used this cockpit exclusively in this version. The Strike Breaker 100 has that. This plane has that. Um, I don't think I've updated the Skyhawk yet. I really should I should look into that because I think it deserves an update. But if you noticed while I was on the ground with this craft, the uh, it actually is angled slightly up, like on the ground with the landing gear out. But because of the way this cockpit looks internally, you're actually looking down despite that. Like it's it's very nice. It's it's very ooh, yeah. Like I said, you gotta watch out on the roll. So I'm gonna turn us around and deploying flaps so that'll slow us down actually I'm gonna turn those back off and let us speed up again because I want to get a bit closer I'm gonna go ahead and push and hold the brakes though so we're not going too much faster actually I don't like how slow this is taking so I'm gonna let us speed up a bit and then I will whoops nope I don't want to be going up I want to be going down so I'm basically gonna aim at the deck with this of course we are going up still so I'm gonna aim lower and it's time for the flaps. It's actually beyond time for the flaps. Whoa. Yeah, this thing will start to drop once you activate the flaps. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, it's a bit... You gotta be careful with the controls. Okay, gear down. Brakes on. And we're gonna hit the deck. And we're on the deck. And this thing slows down very quickly once you're on the deck. Very nice, huh? Yeah, there you go. Oh, yep, the engines are still on, so we probably should turn on the brakes. I actually forgot to turn off the engines, which is a testament to how good this thing is at landing on here, because I used brakes with the engines still on, with us still capable of flying, and successfully landed it just fine. Let's go ahead and turn off everything. There we go. Very nice. And I didn't even use the drogue shoot. So if you're not as good at flying, you can actually come in at a faster speed probably and still land successfully. Let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and throttle up all the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and I guess this thing's jittering on the ground. Oh yes. Uh yeah. It it has just enough engine power it can pull off on its own. Yes, so you can actually do an extremely short takeoff as well. Alright, so this time I'm gonna try coming in from one third throttle in third person. Uh, with no, with the brakes activated, the gear out, and I'm going to try to use the drogue chute to stop us. So, um, I am going to cut power this time on the landing, so we'll see how that goes. Yes, yeah, so we're going to come in rather faster this time around. I just noticed this thing does have a bit of an oscillation problem. Oh well, it will be fine. Alright, this thing is getting up to some serious speed with the engines at one third, so that will be a potential problem when we come in for a landing here but uh, hopefully not too big of a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the gear, deploy the air brakes. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights too. I've, I've, I actually didn't think about adjusting the lights. I might adjust the lighting value in a minute. All right, so this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in low and I'm going to, all right, I'm gonna activate the drogue chute. Now, and cut engines. 
Way too fast. Okay, full throttle brakes off, gear up. And uh, this thing can fly with the drogue chute, as you're seeing now. Of course, it's not the uh, best way to fly, <laughs> dragging a chute behind you. But yeah, um, we almost succeeded in that landing, despite being rather fast. So my point in that was that even if you're not as experienced, it's probable that you can still land this thing. It's difficult, but you still can. Oh yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, open up the bay to show you what's in there. Uh, absolutely nothing. Yeah, I decided to leave the bay uh, just completely empty. It's an expandable slot for you to put whatever you want in there. So, uh, do do what you will with it. I, I just now, as I was about to say that, I was, I was about to say, put an engine in there, make it a VTOL. Because I think, I think that's uh, right, it's, it's at least near the... Uh, whatchamacallit, the center of mass. So you could actually put an engine in there and probably make this into a VTOL. I'm actually gonna, after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna go back and uh, look into the possibility of doing that. Ah yes, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that is, that is something else. Oh yes. Hold on, let me take the mouse out of these screenshots. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that. I'm going so fast. Oops, that's a bit of a rough turn. And this thing can turn around in a moment. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna come in from a landing for a landing from the wrong direction. This shall be interesting. All right, this time around we're gonna cut the engine power entirely once we're in close. So I'm gonna try and focus I, on the uh, sequence here. I've got to hit zero G B X zero G B X. All right, zero B G X. All right, coming in very fast. All right, this is a bad angle to be coming in at. All right, let's uh, zero. Nope, that wasn't zero, that's zero. G, holding down B. Oh, geez, okay, zero. Zero, B, G, nope, not G. Ah, fuck, We're, this is not a good, this is not gonna end well. Full speed, gear up. All right. Oh yeah, we still have the lights on. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Let's see how fast it goes with. Uh, let's see, is you the lights? Yes, it is. Let's see how fast it uh, flies. Oh, the sun has gone down during these operations. That is so cool. Oh my god, I love that. So yeah, with the flaps down, our max speed seems to be about like 135. So you can see how effective having the flaps like that actually is. So once I disable them, you see we immediately start speeding up. Yeah. All right. Flaps three. Uh, landing gear in a moment. Alright, let's go ahead and go into first person, because I'm better at landing this in first person. Alright, gear are not down. Gear are not... <clears throat> gear are not down. Okay. Putting landing gear down. Lining up the approach. I'm actually approaching to land on the uh, proper frickin' runway this time, instead of, you know, landing it wrong. So I better do it right, because uh, this will end very badly if I don't do it right. All right, I'm not I'm not lined up right. Coming too low, too low. I've got to basically hit the deck at the right moment. Oh, too low, too low. This thing's got a bit of a wheelbase. All right, there we go. Yeah, you sit quite high up on the deck with this thing. Oh, geez, that's not good. I forgot to cut the engine. Uh, that was my biggest flaw there. And yeah, once you start to turn while you're on the ground, it will just turn, and that's an unfortunate problem. But otherwise, oh yes, there we go. <laughs> I managed to flip it back over. That's nice. All right. So yeah, that's the uh, Stubbs 102 fighter. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy uh, flying it, fighting other things. I'm going to make a BD Armory version. I'm going to make another video with the BD Armory version. I'm going to make a BD Armory version of the Strike Breaker 100. And um, if you didn't know, BD Armory now has AI for fighters. So I'm actually going to uh, pit this against the Strike Breaker 100 with AIs and uh, see, see which one comes out on top. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in space.